Just seven days ago, Nikki O'Donnell was a perfectly healthy five-year-old, but now he's in the hospital fighting for his life. What seemed like a virus has turned into something much more terrifying, and no one can tell the O'Donnells what it is. My wife started asking around. She asked one nurse, do you know any doctors who I could call to help, help my son? She said, oh, I know good practice, MD for kids. Uma immediately calls MDs for Kids, a private pediatric practice. In a matter of hours, Dr. William Gerba appears in Nikki's hospital room. When parents are uh, unhappy, they have an option of calling in another physician to assume the care and to uh, ask the primary person to step back. Uma was desperate. She wanted someone to come in and uh, pick up the ball. So I stepped in. When Dr. Gerber came over, there was a calm inside of me that I knew that this was the man who's going to save my son's life. I come into the room and Nikki is lying in bed. Wasted no time, looked at Nick's chart. They examined him. He was peeling or shedding his skin, I would say something like a snake. It was just scales were falling off. We have fever persisting, rash persisting, cracked lips bright red palms. And uh, he turned around to me and he asked, how long has he had this fever for? I said, this is about like eight or nine days now he had it. He goes, we have to do something now. He has to get treatment right away before the window of opportunity is closed. Dr. Gerba recognizes Nikki's strange symptoms from a previous case, and he knows it's no virus. In my mind, with Nikki's symptoms and story, this was Kawasaki's disease. Kawasaki disease is a rare disorder that affects the vascular system. For reasons unknown, the body overreacts in its response to an initial infection, resulting in inflammation of the blood vessels all over the body. If not treated in time, Kawasaki can lead to serious heart problems, including aneurysms and weakening of the coronary arteries. There is a great sense of urgency, treatment done before 10 days has been the most successful in preventing serious cardiac complications. We have a 10-day window to treat this disease, and we're on the 10th day. Dr. Gerba immediately orders an echocardiogram to see how far Nikki's Kawasaki has progressed. The results are terrifying. The blood vessels leading to Nikki's heart are dilated, and an abnormal layer of fluid is surrounding his heart. That indicates that there was some inflammation going on. Every hour counts. If Nikki's condition worsens, a blood clot could form, leading to a heart attack. Dr. Gerba must start treatment immediately. Kawasaki disease is treated with an intravenous infusion of protein called gamma globulin and high doses of aspirin, which reduce inflammation. That morning they administered it. It was administered through the day, the afternoon, through the night. And then uh, late the next morning, his fever broke. His life came back to his face. His eyes cleared up. The redness went away, and he was back to his old self. The relief, it was overwhelming. <laughs> but the relief is premature. Although Nikki has been treated and his Kawasaki disease most likely won't return, his 10-day struggle with the illness may have left his heart irreparably damaged. Kawasaki disease is like a fire. Yes, we could put out the fire, and yes, the trees would grow back, but we don't really know how much damage is done. We had to do echoes every couple months, and he was on aspirin therapy. Unfortunately, the fluid around the heart and the dilation of the coronary arteries resolved. My son is safe. I can, you know, I can dance at his wedding. <laughs> You know, it was, it was good. He looked so much better and I just cried for joy. And I was jumping, literally. <laughs> Five years later, Nikki is once again in great health. I'm 10 years old now and I'm very healthy. He's an absolute joy. You know, you can't ask for a better son, a better child. And I asked him, so what do you want to do now when you, uh, when you get older? I want to be a pediatrician so no other kid could suffer this disease. Nikki and his parents are grateful that Dr. Gerber recognized the signs of Kawasaki before time ran out. But they wonder why Nikki's other doctors did not. There is no 
single test that can tell a physician that this is Kawasaki syndrome. It's a pattern, a constellation, a grouping of signs that one puts together as a package. I think it's quite appropriate to assume when you see someone early in an illness that they have a virus, because that's 99% of what most children have. It's when he failed to improve that the red lights had to go on and people had to start thinking that, uh oh, what else could this be? Later, I came to realization, well, if uh, my wife wasn't so adamant firing his doctor, there would have been very dire consequences. You have to be your children's advocate. Mothers are the first doctors. Always trust your instinct and your gut. When Nikki's illness struck, it was only a matter of days before he was lying in a hospital bed.